So some of you may remember in a video quite a long time ago, I went out and took some photos for my mum to make her a print, I think for Mother's Day or her birthday. A nice wholesome exchange. And ever since then, she's been asking for me to take some more lovely photos of trees because she wants more to put on her walls. So since it's kind of this lovely spring period right now, I thought it was the perfect time to go out and take some photos in the same location as the first one. So I had this idea of shooting the same location in two different styles. So I had the idea of heading out a golden hour, and then once again, once it's got dark, with my flash. So I went out with a tripod and a Mamiya 7 and the 80mm lens, trying to kind of find some scenes that had these little golden pools of light. That was pretty much the only thing that I was focusing on. Trying to find nice greenery with just kind of little patches, uh, splashes of colour, I guess. And since it was kind of on the end of the golden hour cycle, I had to use the tripod in order to get quite a sharp image. So I think for the most part, I was shooting it around like a quarter of a second and around f8 to f11, just in the hopes that it produces quite a sharp image. And then the only problem with this is that it was a bit windy, so there could have been some motion in the trees. After a little walk around scouting the different areas, I shot through roll pretty fast, mostly just of the trees, and then there was this one scene of a house kind of emerging through some plants that had one light on, and I thought it was just gonna be a nice little other option that I knew my mum wouldn't be interested in, but why not do it anyway? So then I headed home, reloaded the camera, waited for it to get dark and picked up all my flash gear. So first off, I did a light meter test in the garden so I knew what to do the settings at. So I kind of had it all set up that I didn't need to change it as soon as I got there and I could just focus on, on taking the photos. So it ended up being full power on the flash and F16 at 1 60th of a second. So with this knowledge, I then set my lens to the focus of just below infinity and, and went out at it. Now it's pretty hard to compose at night. Uh, I did have the modeling light from the flash which helped, but it was pretty hard. So having the knowledge of the kind of scenes that were in the forest actually really helped because I ended up trying to recreate kind of the same photos or some of the similar angles. Yeah, it was a bit scarier at night. It was a bit spooky and um, harder to compose. And I think that kind of comes across in some of the photos. But I do think at the same time, you do get quite a cool look. And in the end, I do think actually that some of the photos would have benefited off a bit of a wider lens, uh, just to try and capture maybe the more height of the trees and things like that. But this is what I had, it's what I was dealt with, and you make the most of it. But in the end, I did have two images, which I was happy to print. Uh, so I went over to Bayer and asked for them to be made as color hand prints. And I pretty much just briefed them for them to look as kind of golden and rich as possible, kind of like a really nice summer sunset. This is what they came out with, and I think they look really great. Even the one with flash ended up being printed warm, and I think it actually does work really well. I think that it's just like that extra step, those extra colors, it's just like, mm. I don't think they're the best photos I've ever taken. My mum likes them, so it's, it's a nice wholesome uh, conclusion to the video. This has been probably a bit shorter than normal, but it's like a fun little thing I've done, so I thought, why not, let's try it out. And I actually was thinking about doing a similar thing with the same locations in two different ways, where I would do some long exposure night photos, kind of Todd Heido-esque, and then also some with flash, and just see the kind of difference between the two, because I do think it is interesting, and exploring different styles maybe will help you find your photographic style, or maybe I'll learn something new. So uh, yeah, thank you for watching, and I'm sure I'll see you again soon.